Hi, my name is Lisa Ward and I'm running for office in Alabama. Many times we fail to realize how critical exercising our vote rights are. We often see in our climate things that make us feel like our vote doesn't matter or count. And I'm here to debunk that myth and tell you countless times a race was too close to call and it could have been your vote that made the difference. State laws change and while we aren't paying attention, often they affect our voting rights. For example, there's a law in place that basically says if you don't use it, you lose it. But what does that mean? It means if you do not exercise your right to vote in two consecutive federal elections, the Secretary of State has the right to purge you from the eligible voter registration database. Now, for that reason alone, we don't want that to happen. Voting is a responsibility that we have to show interest in sustaining our freedoms for democracy in this country. And the moment that we stop caring about those fundamental rights, authoritarian government can slide in and our voice is gone. Each generation owes this pay it forward effort to protect what others before us have provided us. And it is our responsibility to do the same for those after us. So I wanna spend a few minutes explaining to you something many might not have attempted to do before. I want you to understand how important all elections are, how critical knowing individual candidates are, forgetting about a straight ticket vote and taking the time to hand select each candidate that has put themselves out there for public service. They deserve our effort to look at their name on that ballot and be counted. That happens when you color in their dot on election day. This is one way to prevent voter fraud and hindering anyone tempted to split your ticket by coloring in a circle that you might have overlooked. Let me give you an example of why all elections are vital, especially midterm elections. That is when people are not paying attention, but there are no electoral college votes. They're not interfering with our choices. It truly is one voice and one vote. And we need to take advantage of that. When you don't vote, you decrease the number of voters that are counted and polling locations are reduced because of it. There is no need for them if there are no voters showing up in those locations to vote. One more thing, just as an example of why your votes do count. In our climate today, there are many folks who are not happy with police officers and the job they're doing. I hope you realize the sheriff that you elect or don't elect hires and determines the officers in your neighborhood so that can be prevented by making sure that you know the leader of that department is worthy of our votes. So let's get started. I want you to understand what elected officials are responsible for and how their role affects your life, shall we? Let's talk about the Alabama State Treasurer. Did you know that the treasurer of the state of Alabama is the chief financial officer of the government of Alabama? The treasurer acts as the state's bank he or she receives funds in the form of tax revenues, this is our money, fees, and other payments, and manages the state's investment funds. That takes good judgment and being good stewards of the money. He or she also oversees the state's relationship with the network of private banks it does business with. They operate the state's unclaimed property fund and issue state bonds. The Office of the State Treasurer is responsible for multiple state financial interests that include unclaimed property, cash management, bonds, the Alabama Trust Fund, and more. Some of the office's specific duties, pay attention to this because this is big. They are responsible for restoring unclaimed property to its owners. They're responsible for that supervising and maintaining records of the issue of state bonds. Bonds, think about this, pay attention, Google it if you need to. Collecting, investing, dispersing state funds, including from the state's trust fund, managing cash flow for state agencies, promoting financial literacy among Alabamians, their current salary is somewhere between 80 and 90,000. I'm not positive, 
but it's up there enough to pay attention to this position as well.